Hello everyone and welcome to week four, 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 I think four, of the VBLS. I'm playing against the um, Camel and the Sacramento Nader Kings. They are um, a replacement of the coach out I was originally going to be playing, so that's why this is a little bit light. Um, uh, and they're not actually from Sacramento, I don't think. I'm pretty sure they said they were in Mountain Standard Time, which I'm pretty sure is a bit to the east of Sacramento. Cali. Um, so they. This is not correct. This is. What? I, okay, my dog seems to be a bit on the fence. Yeah, okay, there's the correct team. I don't know why I had to refresh for that. Um, I'm trying recording on my other screen, which, because apparently the screen I was recording on is only 1050p which isn't enough for 1080p, and this is a 1080p screen, so hopefully the recording will be in 1080p. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's a, an interesting <laughs> standard state of affairs. So one of the good things is Espeon, they're faster, small, and slower than Raybon V and that, and speed tying these two, or I mean Thunderous and speed tying these two, and then Zapdos, and then it's Taracat. This team also competes a lot of slots for Eviolite, Theoretically, Cleffa, though, so I, I think that's going to limit the amount of them they come. Only one of them can run Eviolite, and only one of them can run a Sash, and that also means that none of the other Pokemon are running a Sash, uh, like potentially Espeon. That said, Espeon might still run a Sash, um, so like that's pretty decent. I know that the person who they took over from had run a Jackpack on Toracat, um, but I don't know if this coach, obviously, because this is their first game. Um, so Decidueye is pretty spooky into my team because Sharpedo, my single resist to Decidueye's uh, ghost moves, uh, is too okay over Poltergeist because Decidueye is strong. Um, beyond that, yeah, uh, Zapdos Mamoswine is pretty scary and then like depending on what mons they bring it could be a bit of a cheese. Mamoswine is a mon that I prepared a lot for, Basimia is a mon I prepared a lot for. So we take a look at this uh, um, set here. This is a bulky dual screen, so right, Bombi. It's designed to live like a scarf. Anything that isn't a scarf, like Stone Edge from Mamo, Brave Bird from Decidueye, or Gunk Shot from Basimian, it should be living. Uh, or Hurricane from. I, think. I, I, I mean, I, I've listed this here. So, yeah. yeah. Hey, it lives a Flamethrower from Toracat. Okay, no, that's not. That's too long. <laughs> Flamethrower from Toracat. It lives Iron Head uh, from Adam Basimian. Um, Latias straight up just lives an adamant like a Scarf Icicle Crash from uh, Mamoswine and Oko's it with Aurasphere. If it's Scarf, uh, obviously if it's bulkier, it doesn't always get that Oko, but with the dual screens, it should hopefully be able to get to a 2 Oko, one pre, um, one pre Bleak's Palsy, one after. Surfetched, it, it has EVs to live uh, Psychic from Espeon. So this was more likely to come. This is my like anti-trick room option. First impression should Oko any like non Sash Espeon. Uh, and then like CC and knockoff are both pretty useful. Um, Thunderous it has EVs to Oko uh, and offensive zap those at plus two, so it is nasty plot. And with dual screens, it should be able to get that nasty plot up pretty reliably. It's got speed for Torica, yeah. Um, Magma lives. 1.2x, so that's like expert belt or um, ground plate. What's it? Soft sand. Um, high horsepower from Adam and Ammo through reflect. It also can lift two T bolts from life orbs after those. I think that's even without widescreen. Um, and it's got speed for Ammo. And then the shark is modest life orb, so that it can go Decidueye. Thunderous obviously has goggles for um, the Spawner, uh, Fugus. So hopefully that all works out. Dual screens is pretty interesting into this uh, team, but we'll see what they have. There's a lot of tech pieces that they can run um, in terms of item choice. The screen is larger than it normally is. That's next week's game. That's embarrassing. <laughs> okay, let me just put this on the other screen briefly while I hide that. I'm still in the middle of working on that team, so. <laughs> At the very least, it's not definitely what I'm bringing, but yeah, it's definitely a little bit on the embarrassing side. Okay, um, and I thank my opponent for playing a little bit later than we originally scheduled for, because that, yeah, that, um, that is a bit, um, I, I'm honestly just super tired out recently, I mean, it wasn't great, uh, and 
and while I'm, I've, I've sent a message on Discord as well. Uh, while I'm waiting for that to come up, uh, let me import these. Yeah, this screen is physically smaller, but it has 30 more pixels, which is, you know, all the difference. Like, I think when I look at it, it says, yeah, this one is 1920 by 1080, but the other one that I was using is 1680 by 1050, which is apparently wrong or something. Um, but yeah, in terms of what they bring, I'm not expecting Ferrisy that much. I'm not expecting Purloin, but it could come. I'm kind of expecting Eviolet Light War Tunnel and then something else on Toracap. Um, potentially Sash, potentially Sash on Espeon. Uh, it could be Chopper on Zap, though. Oh, sorry, on uh, Mamoswine. It could be Life Orb, that could be Life Orb. <laughs> it's like, that could be Scarf. Uh, any, any of, uh, I think these mons could be Scarf pretty realistically. It, it's very difficult to know with this team. You too, friend. Uh, okay, well, yeah. uh, let me challenge them to the other games. This is their first game, so they may not necessarily realize that we um, challenged them. Uh, uh, can you accept game two and three? Okay, no war total is really good because that was a mod I was anxious I may not have prepped well enough for. Rabombi gives shield dust, so it's not affected by. Out, which is good. Game two. Oh yeah, also it's the debut of Magma, so hopefully it does well. Their team is relatively fire weak, uh, and if you look at this, they brought one fire resist in Torakat, and Torakat doesn't really hit Magma all that well. Awesome. Um, So I really want to lead Red Bombi. I'm pretty tempted to lead Latias next to it until I know where the map is going to scarf. Because I can always protect Latias if they lead um, Torakat. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be Prankster. Um, I, I kept going back and forth on whether I wanted to be physical or special on Thunderous, and I wound up going with um, special just because after an RC plot I can get through Mammoth Wine more reliably. I also have Helping Hand on Magma, which should help. Hopefully. Um, yeah, I want to go dual screen Slotty House. And then. They didn't bring their trigger option, so Surfetched is unlikely to make its debut, so it's going to be a bench warmer once again. Um, but you know, I think that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go Thunderous and Magma, probably. Magma and Rebombi are both relatively offensive support options. I think Sharpino is probably uh, not a mod I'm defaulting to game one, at the very least. Got a lot of taunt. So imagine your Eviolai and your Sash. That's my thoughts, at least. Interesting. Uh, I want to set up a light screen and then go for the Aura Sphere into Perloin. I'm pretty sure the Zapdos is fast enough for... Yeah, so for, sorry, the Latias is fast enough for Zapdos. Oh, they could be going for rain. damage. 
it could protect the Rabombi. And then just get the um, Psychic off into the lap Zapdos slot. See if they go for anything that buffs. Okay. Interesting. So I have to switch. I'm going to switch into Magma and Psychic the Zapdos slot again. They did, I did 33, so they are relatively bulky. Okay, if they're not max HP, Helping Hand should always pick it up. Okay. That is the weakness policy, that's what we're looking for. Um, though it is only plus one. Get a helping hand and or sphere. We'll see if they're scarf. Actually, uh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I don't have um. I don't have reflect up. Okay, so if they're life orb, I die. They're not life orb. Um, so they have a chance to care of me even if they are not life orb. This brain is not going great for me. Yeah, I mean, I don't have Reflect Up, but that's definitely rough. I'm gonna go for Heat Wave and Protect. Oh. I didn't even... Dude, I, f I hate Uncle. <laughs> In terms of Pokemon moves, there are relatively few Pokemon moves that I think are overtuned. Um, Quash and Encore are definitely the two of them. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't have a switch. I have to double switch. Thunder just dies. My entire team just dies. Okay, I just need to get a roll, I guess. screen up is definitely uh, set me back. Okay, I assume they're gonna fake out Burloin. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna double protect here. Oh, I can't even double protect. Because they can just, they can just don't call me in to protect. Um, I don't have an option not to though. Alright, I'm gonna see what the Simeon is, I guess. Fake out and rock slide. Um, well, if it's faster than I am, like if it's Scarf, I think I probably lose. So I have to play around it not being Scarf. Or, or a dodge and just go for a barrow. They can only encore one of my slots, um, so I'm breaking a sash on both slots if uh, Magma gets to move, and I'm getting a T-Ball power if Simeon gets to move. Okay, okay, so they ask off. Alright, yeah, cool. GG. <sighs> yeah, Perlin's a problem. I mean, I targeted, I, I literally tried to target turn one, but I mean, we also have that one. I 
I don't know what they're like calcing. Surely they just click snarl and rock slide because they're scarf, so they have to click rock slide. Okay, yeah, that's 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 rough. GG's. Uh, it's only the one game. Okay, well, how do I best adapt to that? Shopito. Especially if they bring rain again, Shopito is really good. Probably Thunderous for sure. I might go Red Bombie Thunderous this time. and Sharpedo in the back. I'm just gonna Moonblast and protect. If they reveal Gunk Shot, I'm screwed, but if they don't, then Pissimian should be dead here. Okay, that's that's not good. Um, I'm also most likely slower. Right, I need Rebombi to be alive. Um, they're a bulky scuff, right? Because I'm pretty sure I do a lot right, into Sissimian. You got level 100 apparently. Well, that's helping hand boosted. I don't. Okay, maybe I over-focused on the Torakat flamethrower. So I need you to live, and... Oh, okay. I hate this game. <laughs> okay, I've just lost. Great. Um, Latias. Yeah, I don't see how I ever win. Um, no, I, I get a double protect here. And I don't flinch. And the Pissimian faints. I didn't get the double protect, I'm screwed. And I flinched. Yeah. I mean, so yeah, you're supposed to play out in this league. I wouldn't in any other situation, to be honest with you. This is just shit. Um, that's that's on me. Like, I, I just... I, my prep was clearly not good if I didn't EV the right bombie to Oko a goddamn Scarf of Simeon, when the entire thing I was calcing for was, like, the Scarf of Simeon. Um, obviously, getting the drop was terrible. But, I mean, whatever. You know? Please don't flinch this again. If you do, I will cry. Um, like they're doing this entire thing so that they can switch in the purloin and threaten fake out into the slot again. <sighs> Pokemon, man. Okay, I mean, this is incredibly frustrating, to be honest with you. I need to get a double protect off. I'm sick of having to get double protects off because of this. If I get the shop either dog protect, I might have an out. Depends on their last mod. Especially like if they are oh, great. Cool. No, 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 no. Can't get a single 50-50. Okay, never mind. They went for an odd play. Um There's no way school plus um, psychic doesn't KO. Um, but do I need to do more than just KO? Like, I haven't been able to break the sash. Dude, the the Latias flinch was so dumb. So dumb. Because this should be at another extra, like, 60%. Uh, sorry, it should be at 60%. It should not be at an extra 60%. It should be at an 30, extra 36. Whatever. Um, I can't get a single double protect. Like, this should be at 100, and this should be at, like, 30-odd. But no. That's so stupid. 
Or I could have a Robombi still alive. I'd take that as well, you know. Um, I can't afford. Okay, let's have those. Um, so is my out just critting Zapdos, or is my out high rolling a skull? It's probably just- so if I get a max roll with the skull and it KOs, I, I need my out to be the Zapdos dying and Purloin also, like, missing style, basically. Oh, fuck. Okay, no, 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 cool, it's psychic into the slot that I didn't actually originally click into, so that's fine. Ah, now I see their plan. Yeah, that's that sucks. Dude, this is very frustrating. Encore is definitely overtuned. Not being able to get reflect up by the game is dumb, but yeah, I should have invested to Doko the scarf was in it. That's just on me. I, I feel so crap for it, because it did lose me the game. Oh my god, you're kidding me. <laughs> Again, it was the soul vest. That felt really crap. That game too? Well, wasn't that a good game? I mean, look, the first game, they played really well. Like, and Poloing just sucks. Um, yeah. But then, like, this game? This game was not it. being a bit too down. The new coach of the league, uh, they played well, they brought uh, prep the work out. Um, I don't know, Magma that never really helped. I brought a different mon to my draft. Surfetched. Didn't really help because I could just get Encore into first impression and then I'm completely useless. Yeah, Encore is so just disturbingly broken. Uh, it's ridiculously overturned. I mean, the fact that it even still... Okay, so obviously this worked out for me, right? In, in my favor here. But the fact that it forced me to target into the same slot, even though I was targeting the other slot, it's just bizarre. Like, I don't know. They, I, what, what were they thinking when they made this move? I mean, because it's, 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 it's broken on a fast non-Scarf Pokemon. Sorry, on a fast non-Prankster Pokemon. And it's absurd on a Prankster Pokemon. Like, what, what on earth was the thought process here? <sighs> but yeah, look, not getting that double protect is the reason that Chalk died there, right? Um, getting flinched on Zapdos was also uh, what put Zapdos in range. So, I mean, that definitely <laughs> was a series that could very well have gone in my favor, if not for my opponent getting lucky. Oh, in the match, they're probably like 2 flat 2. But that's KOing from that range. Oh, they don't even. They're either just AV or they don't even assault vest. No, they don't even assault vest. They don't even assault vest, eh? Oh no, they're, sorry, they're just, yeah, just 2 flat 2. Or it's something. I don't know exactly what this spread is. I did 37. I mean, yeah, I didn't get the I didn't get the weakness policy off in either game. No, I did get the weakness policy off in game one. But it didn't matter because the same game. I think I, I brought good, fine prep, and it just didn't work out at all. Um, I think I adapted well game two. But I got like absolutely tooled by the RNG, getting neither double protect, or uh, and getting that rock slide flinch, absolutely lost me that good series. Um, very possible for me not to have lost. I'm playing uh, Mahu, uh, Danganronpa Weeb, uh, the coming game, I'm like halfway through prepping for it, and I'm just going to feel like I'm going to have to double down and prep for it. Encore is just dumb, man. I hate that move. I hate that move so much. I don't... <laughs> it's ridiculous. 
time for guys. Thank you for watching. Hopefully next week I'm not playing a friend of Pokemon.